In this video, you'll learn how to upload documents to the Study eBinder in SiteVault. To upload documents to SiteVault via the Study eBinder, navigate to the Study eBinder, select the study, and click Upload or drag and drop multiple files to the grid. You can upload up to 20 files at a time. Once files are selected, you have the option to add or remove documents from the queue. Select the document type from the dropdown. Then select the upload state. Upload as draft can be used in cases where the document requires additional processing or review. For example, you can select to send the document for e-signature during the upload process. Upload to final state can be used when the document is complete and no further processing is needed. Please note that state label depends on the document type selected. You can select an additional actions, such as certifying the document as a copy or sending for read and understand. Complete all fields for your document. Once all required document fields are completed, a green check mark will appear next to the file name. To advance to the next document in the queue, you can use the arrow or click on the file name. Continue this process to complete all fields for all documents. Once all information is complete and a green check mark displays next to all documents, click Save to upload the documents. The documents will now display in the Study eBinder. There are three subtabs to view documents in the eBinder. The All tab, which includes all documents regardless of their state. The Approval Needed tab, which includes all draft documents. And lastly, the Approved tab, which only includes documents in their final or superseded state. For any documents in the draft state, you can quickly approve them by navigating the, the Approval Needed tab, selecting up to 25 documents, and clicking Approve at the bottom of the screen. A window will open for you to enter in all the applicable fields for the selected documents. Click Save to bulk approve these documents. Lastly, for any document filed in the eBinder, you can take additional action without opening the document. For example, for finalized documents, you can select to send them for read and understand by clicking their action menu. For more information on uploading documents to Site Vault, check out our Help Center.